All right, yeah, hi, mo morning, guys. Uh, quick review of this pound uh, dollar trade following the crypto uh, from yesterday. This is part two. Um, dollar has made a little progress. Um, dollar is up against the yen, but here, dollar is down against the Swiss. Right, there is our alarm bell. Because if dollar was legit strong, it would have gone up against the Swiss. We were expecting a Swiss drop so from last week. So that's telling us that we might want to be taking profits on our uh, pound trade, uh, which was here. Um, also, euro has gone up. So this is a loss here. Look, sell. Wrong. Uh, we'll close these in a minute. Uh, so New Zealand's gone down. All of that is good. Um, and now let's check the crypto. Hang on. And Aussie is down. And CAD is uh, up. Or dollar is up against the CAD. Um, all right, let's go over now and look at the crypto. And what we're going to do is it suddenly dawned on me. It made me realize, well, wait a minute. If we're following crypto, that means we're now dependent again on something, which we can't ever de be dependent on anything. We, we, we must know how this works with that because they can just turn everything off tomorrow uh, or change something. <sighs> We'll do that in another video. Um, let's go to the crypto uh, profile one second. All right, <clears throat> so where were we yesterday? We're, we, sh we should be targeting minimum the open because the open was where the uh, disparity was um, from the open crypto fell collectively pound went up here pound is due to fall due to crypto being down pound is now is now beginning to fall let's drag this over Now it's met. So in theory, pound is rebalanced while crypto is going up. However, this one down here, what is this one? Doesn't matter. OMG is holding. Um, so collectively, what does that mean? Um, do we hold further or not? Well, I'm going to take 90% off of here, and then I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to watch this. If everything follows OMG, and then we can hold hold more of them. If OMG starts following the rest of the crypto, then we should be really looking to exit all of this. So we've, we've we could probably hold this for today, the rest of the day, I believe. Because it's going to take time for all of this to turn around. Um, let's just look at the indexes. And we'll start drawing off our, our boxes when we see them supposed to happen. La last night, I also I made a note in New York close yesterday. Our numbers for night on the higher time frame were 94 and 97 were the highest uh, I was seeing. Um up here and now these numbers have, have declined so we were anticipating this to fill in red um, but again if we were doing that and trading that we would be reacting so we're not reacting now we're simply following crypto and using the retail losses to profit 
I've put the target set here for the bulk of these at the open. Here, just put it in the middle of the open. It's all. We don't need to put it right at the top. We don't need to put it right at the bottom. Just put it in the middle, the average balance. Uh, and then that will line up nicely with the 4,000 moving average. So we're trying to get 90% off right in the middle. Um, and I'm going to come back with another video a little later on. Uh, if I don't, we'll start drawing these boxes here like we did yesterday. Um, let's just see if this did act as uh, resistance. So it was should have bought, went up a little bit, it fell apart. And it hasn't really hit it, you know. It's just fallen off it. I, I would expect some kind of bounce off of it and then down, but maybe I'm just dreaming. So if it is indeed going to go up again, then this will make a little bounce and then it will break. So we want to, we're just, we're, we're not looking at this trade as a trend change. We're simply looking at it as a pullback or a fade, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, I'd like to put some, so what we'd expect here, this is weaker than dollar for this level. So all of this is a sell. It's more than so we'd be expecting retail to sell this and profit because they're going in line with the current trade, which is to follow crypto. Um, now, where let's look at the crypto individually. Since the open, it's gone up. Since the open, it's gone up. Since the open, it's gone up. So that's three versus whatever the rest of them are. So what I mean about the weight, we can just add up the weight. Uh, BTC has gone sideways. XMR has gone up. Zcash has gone up. OMG, as we know, has gone sideways or down. And EOS. The zoom's not working. Z EOS has gone down. So, yeah, I mean, the weight is is in the middle, you know. It's kind of chop. So we can hold this pound longer, certainly to the New York close. And then after that, we're going to try to do this in the same way uh, on another currency which doesn't involve the dollar and crypto. And I'm going to demonstrate how I believe we can actually do the same thing without being dependent on crypto. Uh, so that is the next video. Uh, I will see you guys later. Cheers. Oh, and it, it and make cert, certain to take at least 90% off at exactly this blue line right in the middle of the open. Um, we'll just do one here for the fun of it to make up for the euro loss, actually two. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.